ए हाय एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय रूप चैनल माय नेम इज सनी सविता एंड आई एम बैक विद अनदर एक्साइटिंग एंड इंपॉर्टेंट वीडियो सो गाइस आई स्टार्टेड विद द साइन टू एंड लैंग्राफ कोर्स एंड आई ऑलरेडी पब्लिश फाइव वीडियोस रिलेटेड टू दिस कोर्स इफ यू आर फॉलोइंग टू मी दैट डेफिनेटली यू मस्ट बी नोइंग अबाउट इट नाउ गाइज दिस इज अक्स वीडियो एंड इन साइड दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द कोर लैंग्राफ मॉड्यूल so inside this video i will explain you the complete and detailed introduction of the lang graph that why we should use it what is the requirement of it and what all, what all kind of pattern actually we can create using this lang graph okay uh, so first of all let me show you the syllabus uh, here guys uh, so i already discussed this uh, prerequisite uh, whatever prerequisite is required for the lang graph and then uh, like i'm going to start from this graph structure what is the lang graph a uh, while lang graph is required creating lang graph from scratch everything uh, guys i'll be talking about uh, from now onwards and inside this video uh, as i told you i am going to discuss about the lang graph okay means the introduction of the lang graph uh, and then guys we'll come to the advanced part of the lang graph like uh, creating chatbot with lang graph common agentic pattern okay uh, we'll try to create some multi agentic system as well we'll try to integrate our lang graph with a rag as well and then i uh, will look into some uh, project okay how we can create a different different kind of project how we can leverage this lang graph uh, everything i will let you know so guys this uh, slide is very much important where i am going to discuss the introduction and the uh, lang graph creation from scratch because this uh, slide will give you the detail uh, uh, like a uh, uh, detail understanding of the lang graph okay uh, if you are going to miss this session or uh, like this uh, upcoming session and this particular session uh, you won't be able to understand the lang graph guys so please uh, focus and uh, please uh, like uh, be sincere from now if you are following to me till here and uh, yeah i will be providing each and every material and i will make sure that uh, you will get to know each and every detail from my end now so uh, guys i already created a notes complete notes for all of you and this slide i mentioned inside my description section if you will go and check with the description you will find out this particular slide got it now uh, let me show you my youtube uh, channel as well so here guys my youtube channel and if you will go inside the video section you will find out all the previous video and it's going very well people are uh, supporting a lot and uh, people are uh, reacting a lot so first of all thank you to all of you uh, for supporting and for reacting over the videos uh, now apart from this one guys i started one more service so if you want to connect with me one to one uh, you can leverage uh, that particular service as well so i mentioned the link inside the description and inside my uh, like description of the youtube okay uh now uh here guys if you will go and check with my uh top mate so you will find out like a variant option quick uh chat career guidance okay resume review interview preparation and mock interview and all so for any sort of a service you can connect with me i already discussed in my previous session as well and i justify uh, justify the price as well so why i kept this much of uh, money like 100 to 100 so uh, just to like uh, just just for the sincerity okay just just uh, like uh, uh, for the for respecting the time and efforts okay everything i discuss uh, now uh, i hope you got uh, enough amount of understanding so let's uh, start with the topic so guys uh, in this particular video i'm not going to discuss any coding part i'm keeping this video as small as possible because uh, here in this particular video i will discuss the introduction of the lang graph now from next video onwards i will be creating a uh, like a different different lang graph uh, basically uh, here uh, is the entire code okay everything i will show you from scratch uh, every kind of uh, pattern and all so uh, first of all uh, let me uh, go back to my blackboard here i created couple of uh, uh, here i written uh, like something for you guys and uh, i hope this uh, will really help to you so uh, step by step one by one uh, let me explain you each and every part of uh, this particular blackboard and then uh, we'll come to the coding part guys so guys uh, here is a detailed introduction of the lang graph so step by step one by one let's try to understand each and every aspect of the lang graph okay i hope it is visible so uh, whenever we talk about the lang chain guys so this lang chain is divided into the multiple component so here are some parent component of the lang chain as i uh, discussed in my previous video as well so uh, the first uh, component uh, is a lang chain okay as we know about it the second is a uh, lang smith the third is a lang serve and then lang graph so before coming to the lang graph let's try to look into the other component as well other uh, services of the lang chain 
so the uh, one service of the lang chain is the lang chain itself okay you will find out the uh, you will find out the document or document of the lang chain and uh, this lang chain actually it give you the different different component why it give you the different different component so that you can uh, build a uh, solution on top of it okay llm based solution so uh, here i written couple of name so it, it will provide you the prompting okay prompt template it will provide you the different different llm integration it will provide you the different different uh, output and input parser right and it will provide you the embedding model it provide you the data loader chaining concept lcl and all so there are uh, like uh, this is a uh, some uh, important concept of the lang chain and uh, once in a while uh, we have uh, we all have used this uh, particular concept from the lang chain itself right then coming to the lang uh, smith so guys lang smith we use for the logging if you want to capture any sort of a log uh, if you want to capture any sort of a information in between the uh, like execution so we use this lang smith uh, then length of is for serving the model so it is uh, giving the provide it is providing the cloud of uh, basically so directly uh, you can host your application using this length of okay uh, now guys uh, our main agenda is a length graph itself so uh, i think uh, the name itself okay uh, if we will look into the name so the name itself is justifying the thing uh, if we are talking about the lang graph guys so go uh, the uh, here what it is giving to us it is giving to us a graph right and what is the meaning of the graph so graph is nothing it is a node and edges getting my point so a uh, lang graph basically it is uh, it is uh, providing us to capability so that we can uh, create a graph and what is the meaning of the graph graph is nothing it's a node and edges okay so using this node and edges what we can do we can create a workflow i think you are able to connect each and every points uh, whatever I'm uh, like trying to explain you over here. Got it? Now, uh, if we are looking into the definition of the Lang graph, so here is the definition of the Lang graph. So, what is the Lang graph, guys? Tell me. So, it's a product, okay, or it's a framework of Lang chain for creating a workflow. As simple as that. Now, what is the meaning of the workflow? Uh, if uh, if you will ask to me, Sunny, uh, what is the meaning of the workflow? Workflow is nothing basically. Workflow means orchestration. Okay. So you will send. You will ask to me, Sunny, what is or orchestration? Uh, so here simply you can uh, like think it's a pipeline okay it's a pipeline or if if you are if i'm talking in more technical terms so it's a direct it's a direct cyclic graph so using the lang graph what we can do we can create a direct cyclic graph i will come to this part direct cyclic graph each and everything i will try to explain you in today's video and your understanding will be pretty much clear with respect to the lang graph okay so uh, now i hope till here everything is perfect everything is fine now why we require this uh, lang graph okay so uh, whenever we are talking about this lang chain guys so using this lang chain what we can do we can create a simple ai assistant as you know right uh, we can create a memory based uh, assistant we can create a memory based application we can do the chaining we can perform the lcl and all okay uh, using what using the uh, lang chain now this lang chain itself it provides the different different uh, agentic classes also. So uh, we have seen in the previous classes like tool calling agents, agent class, react agent class, self ask with the search, okay, agent class. So it provides the different different agentic class as well. Now uh, using the using this lang chain guys, what we can do, we can uh, like uh, create a LLM based application, okay. And guys over here, uh, if we are talking about this uh, lang chain, so using this lang chain, okay, if, if we are using this LCL or this LLM chain. So we can create a DAG. Now, what is the meaning of DAG? I will let you know in some time. Okay, it it will be uh, it's going to be clear what is the meaning of DAG over here. Now, here, uh, guys, whenever we are talking about Lang chain, so Lang chain uh, basically it providing us to cap it providing us a capability to create this simple AI assistant, memory based assistant, chaining uh, like functionality or agentic uh, pattern. Now, uh, what is the agentic pattern, guys? Tell me. So, agentic pattern is nothing. So, here we are giving a capability to LLM so that we can perform some sort of a reasoning using what? Using the LLM. Okay. Uh, we can uh, run it, it inside the loop. We can create a third party tool and all. Okay. We can create a prompt in such a way so that uh, LLM can think by themselves. That, that's the meaning of uh, like agent. Okay. That's the meaning of a reasoning based engine. Now, uh, whenever we talk about the Lang graph, so guys, using this Lang graph, what we can do? we can create a simple ai assistant that is fine but from the simple ai assistant we can create a complex agentic pattern getting my point yes or no again i am repeating so whenever i i talk about the lang chain so using the lang chain you can create a simple ai assistant memory based assistant chaining agentic uh, pattern and all 
But guys, whenever we discuss about the lang graph, so using the lang graph, what you can do, you can create a simple AI assistant. That is fine. That is well and good. But guys, you can create a complex agentic pattern also. And here you can create a DCG. DCG means what? DCG means so here see. DCG means what? Direct cyclic graph. Getting my point. So whenever we talk about the lang graph, so using the lang graph, we can create a agents. We can create a common. We can create a complex agentic pattern. Okay, and we can create a multi agentic system as well. Understood? Yes or no? So here in the uh, lang graph, we have a low level authority. Okay, we have low level authority so that we can work on a agentic pattern. We can create a complex agentic pattern. We can create a multi agent system. I hope this thing is clear to all of you. Now, guys, here I kept couple of images of the agentic pattern. I will come to this one. I will explain you this part in some time. Okay. Uh, but first of all, let me give you some idea with respect to the graph and all. So here, guys, whenever I am talking about the graph. So here, guys, this graph. Uh, inside the graph, you will find out two things. The first thing is called node. Okay. And the second thing is called edges. Getting my point. So uh, here, uh, if we are talking about this node and edges, what is this node and edges? I will come to that. But whenever we are talking about this graph, so we have a two type of graph. So the first type of graph is called DCG. Sorry, DCE. This is called direct acyclic graph. Okay. And the second type of graph is called DAG. This is called direct acyclic graph. Okay. Now, guys, this is the image of the direct cyclic graph and direct acyclic graph. Now, if you will look into the direct uh, cyclic graph, so here you will find out the cyclic pattern means uh, I'm going from first function to the next function. Okay, this one. Then I'm going from first, uh, then I'm going next function to, then I'm going this uh, next function to the next function. Then I'm going from here to here and then I'm, I'm coming back to this one. Okay, like this. So here you can see uh, we are coming to this two to three and again we are going back to the zero. So here we are creating a kind of loop. Right. But whenever we talk about this direct acyclic graph. OK, so here you you won't be able to find out the loop it means we are going inside the single direction. So whenever we talk about this direct, so direct basically it is representing to the direction. Direction and acyclic means what? There is no cycle, no cycle. Understood, guys. Tell me. I hope this point is getting clear to all of you. OK, so direct means a direction direction in which what way direction in no cyclic way okay and here what we are doing we are creating a graph understood graph is what graph is a collection of node and edges okay this is the edges understood now here whenever we talk about the uh lang graph guys so just just focus over here inside the lang graph what we can do inside the lang graph we can create a dcg means direct cyclic graph Okay, means we can give the direction and this direction it could be in a cyclic pattern. But whenever we talk about the but whenever we talk about the length chain guys, so inside the length chain, what we can do, we can create a DAG. Okay, direct a cyclic graph. Okay, direct a cyclic graph means what? So here, here, let's say we are going to do we are going to perform the chaining. We are going to correct connect a multiple component like prompting, like different different LLM, like parser and all. Okay, so those component we can correct in a single direction only. We cannot create a loop out of it. Understood or not? I will explain you with the example that uh, this thing is going to be clear to all of you. Understood? Okay. Now see. Uh, so here, I hope this thing is clear. So uh, whenever someone is asking to you why we use this lang graph, okay. So you can say lang graph we use for creating a multi agentic system or for creating a complex pattern. Or uh, you can say uh, we have a more low level authority uh, on top of the agents. Okay, we can uh, create a way we can perform like a lots of customization and all. And we can create a DCG. DCG means what? We can keep the component in a cyclic pattern. Understood or not? I hope it is getting clear. Now, guys, uh, let me clear a few more things. I hope you understood about the graph. Uh, you understood about the direct acyclic, direct cyclic graph. And you understood about the direct acyclic graph also. Cyclic and acyclic. Don't be confused. And here is a diagram. Now, whenever we talk about the lang graph. So, what is the lang graph? So, it's an enhancement on the lang chain. Okay. Inside the lang chain, what we were doing. So, the same thing I was explaining you. We can run into the single direction. Okay. From prompt, prompt to this LLM and LLM to this parser. Okay, let's say there is one node parser. And then finally, we are getting output means we cannot come back to the previous node. Okay, if we are going to use the LLM chain, or if we are going to use the, uh, let's say, 
uh, LCL. Okay, we cannot uh, like come back to the previous component. Here we are going into the single direction. This is not possible. But whenever we are talking about the land graph, guys. So here I uh, kept one image. Okay, in some time I will explain you this particular image, and even I will implement also in front of you. So using the land graph, what we can do? We can create a complex. We can create a complex agentic pattern. We can create a complex cyclic pattern. Okay, so here see, user is giving the question. Then it is going to the supervisor agent. Then supervisor agent, what it is doing? It is routing to the uh, like uh, particular agent. Okay, if it is not fine, then it, again it is coming back. Then again it is going to this one. Then if it is not fine, then it is coming back to this one. Then again it is going to this one. Okay, so something like this. We can create a cyclic pattern. We can create a multi agentic pattern. Okay. So this is a power of what? This is a power of the Lang graph. I hope you understood the thing. Now, uh, whenever we talk about, whenever we are talking about the Lang graph, guys, as I told you, we can create a different different pattern. So here I capped couple of pattern, and this all the pattern actually we are going to implement inside the live class, inside the classes as well. Okay, inside the video. Now, uh, just look into some pattern. So this is the simple chatbot. Okay, so we are giving the input. Okay, we are it is coming to the chatbot and we are generating output. Starting means uh, input and ending means output. Okay, now in between we what we have we have a LLM. Now we can do one more thing. We can uh, add a few more functionality over here. So we are giving input. We are getting output in between. So we have a LLM and we have one tool. Okay. We have one function. Now here you can see another type of pattern input agent. So here we have two branches of the agent. So first it is uh, checking with this particular condition. Then it is coming over here. If this condition is going to be satisfied, it's coming over here. And finally it is giving me output. Now here you can see it's a multi agentic pattern. This one. So uh, here what we have, we have a user supervisor agent. Okay, it is coming over here. If it is not going to be satisfied, then again it is going back. Then again it is coming over here. Then again it is going back. So it's kind of loop. It's kind of cycle. Okay. So from now, just read the definition. So what definition I have written over here? I hope you are able to understand my handwriting also. Now from simple AI assistant to complex agentic pattern. Everything we can create, everything we can build using the Lang graph, guys. Right now, uh, I hope uh, this thing is clear. So here I have kept some uh, couple of more uh, complex pattern. So uh, by the time basically we are going to discuss this all the stuff and all, uh, it's it's going to be clear. Okay, it's going to be clear to all of you. Don't worry. We'll uh, try to implement inside the uh, like video itself. And here, guys, this is the age rag based pattern. This one and I. Even I will discuss this uh, thing as well in the upcoming classes in the upcoming uh, video. Now let's try to understand few uh, or other different different. Okay, just a second. Why it went like this? Uh, let me discuss a different different uh, terminology with respect to this uh, with respect to this line graph, and then I will uh, conclude the video. So let me scroll down over here, and I already capped a uh, couple of functionality, couple of terminology. So see. Different different terms and terminology. So the first terminology is a node. So node is nothing, guys. It is a function. Understood, guys. We can write any sort of a custom function uh, in the form of nodes. And this node or this function, it's actually it is also called the tools. By default, you will find out two tool. By default, you will find out two function. Okay. So first is a starting tool, a starting node, and the second is the end node. So this starting node actually we use for taking the input, and this end node for giving the output. Okay. Now here, guys, uh, uh, like we can define a simple function as well, or we can uh, what we can do, we can uh, convert it into a tool as well. Both are fine. Okay. I I think I already told you how to convert this function into the tool. If you will look into my previous video, you will get to know about it. Now, whenever we are talking about the edges, guys, so what is the edges? Edges is nothing. It's a mapping between mapping between the node. So let's say this is my first functionality. This is my second functionality. I am going to make a connection in between. So this edges could be two type. First uh, type of edges is called the normal edges where uh, we don't have any sort of a condition. Okay. Directly we are uh, passing input from uh, one uh, node to the another node. Now uh, the second type of edges is called the conditional edges where actually we are putting some sort of a condition and based on that we are going to take a decision. So here it will be my condition. Okay. I will put the condition and this type of edges. Okay. This type of edges which I which I drawn over here. This is called the conditional edges. Okay. Now, guys, uh, we have, we have some more terminology like state, uh, visualization, streaming, okay, or a checkpointing, breakpointing, memory, and all. Everything, guys, we are going to discuss in the practical session. And uh, don't worry, everything I will show you in terms of practical how you can visualize the graph, how you can maintain the state of it. 
okay uh state means nothing uh, passing the message across the node so i will let you know how you can do that then streaming of the output how you can maintain the checkpoint breakpoint and how you can create a multi agentic system and all everything guys everything i will let you know so this notes will be available inside the github repository so from there itself directly you can download it and i hope you understood this video very well and i hope your each and every doubt is clear with respect to this lang graph and lang chain now we'll start with the coding guys so thank you guys thank you for watching this video and this is it for this particular video now i will meet you soon in the inside the next video so thank you bye bye see you again